You're listening to the School of Client Attraction. Markwell Russell is the founder of Client Attraction University, a marketing consultancy helping you attract clients on autopilot and scale your business while working 50% less. Quick disclaimer, a side effect of listening to the show is more clients, more profits, more freedom, and more impact in your business. Now, here's your host, Markwell Russell. Hey, what's up, my friend? Mark Ward Russell here, and welcome to this brand new episode of School of Client Attraction. So let me ask you this. If you're not making at least 30 k per month right now, how would you like to know a step-by-step process of exactly how to do it? Well, if you want to know, you're going to love today's episode. It's actually going to be an interview, so we're going to jump over to it right now of Dr. Roche, where she walks step-by-step through how she came in and made start making at least $8,000 per month and how she's actually growing that. Our senior director of client communications, Rochelle, is going to interview her, and she has an amazing way of interviewing and digging out the goal so you can actually take it and implement it into your business. So let's go ahead and jump into it right now. Hey, hey. All right. So, hey, this is Rochelle Shaw. I am the Senior Director of Communications here at CAU, Client Attraction University. And I am having fun again. I get to chat today with Dr. Roche. Yay, yay. <laughs> is, we got to meet in person, which is as soon as I meet them in person, I know that I will love you for life. We'll be friends for life. I can't wait. I loved your energy. I love that dress with the dollar sign on it. (laughs) Please introduce yourself to everybody. Tell them what you do. Oh, yes. So my name is Dr. Roche Brown. And uh, my business name is the Doctor of Rethinking uh, because I help, you know, women professionals, particularly nurses and licensed mental health professionals, learn how to make money, manage money, and then, of course, multiply their money. Yay! Right? And so that's what I help people with. Um, I'm a licensed clinical psychologist as well as a financial coach. So together, that's considered a financial psychologist. Um, you know, so I help people really understand their mindset when it comes down to their money. Oh, that's it's so important because so, so many people don't know like why they do things, you yes. know, or, or why they decided to not pay this or or why they always pay late or why they have to see the money in their account and, and they've got the perfect person. Yes, exactly. So I'm getting all in their mind. And I mean, I've been doing this for 14 years. So I've actually been doing therapy since 2006, but I start seeing finances being a real issue to people's like mental health stress. So like financial stress and mental health stress, they'd be going hand in hand, right? And so that was like a huge thing that was happening for a lot of people. And so about five years ago is when I was like, oh, let me get into it and make a whole coaching, you know, program that makes sense around this. But, you know, definitely we needed to increase it. You know, I was doing it, but, you know, like, how do I make this into a great business? (laughs) And so that's what, you know, what brought me here. Ultimately, <laughs> cool. so we brought you to CAU. So how do you know, like, what did your business look like? You said make it a great business. So what did it look like before you got to CAU? So um, before CAU, um, I was really mainly focused on like life insurance and I was doing um, financial reviews with people. I mean, so looking at their money in their money out. Um, but for the most part, I was really looking at like making sure they had a great life insurance plan. A lot of people didn't have enough coverage. You know, now life insurance has the options of like growing money inside of your policies. So I was educating people on that. But then I, I noticed there was a gap there where, you know, I'm asking people their financial goals, but life insurance is not the solution for getting a house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like life insurance is not the solution, you know, all the time for, you know, like saving money for investment properties or, you know, getting out of debt, you know, so all those things were were missing. And so I was like, okay, I need to develop like a, a coaching program for it. And I was just actually giving away the information. So I was like, okay, if you do this, this, and this, that's how you're going to eliminate your debt. Then this is how you're going to build your credit. And then after you build your credit, like, you know, I had this whole like thing and I was like, and then you're going to save this money, amount of money a month. This is the kind of savings vehicles you want, you know? And now I was like, Hey, you want to learn how to invest? So I was just like throwing things at people and people were learning it. People were growing, but I wasn't making really any money like for it. (laughs) So that was kind of like before CAU, I was like, well, I don't, I don't, and I don't have a, a specific structured program. I'm just doing it yeah. um, for people. And so that was kind of my before CAU <laughs> story. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to leverage that, I would imagine. Yeah. So, you know, that would have kept you super busy, huh? Right. Oh, yeah. It definitely kept me busy where people were calling me and asking me more and more questions. 
especially when, you know, life happens, right? Like in COVID land, things happen. So they know to call me because they know I'm the person who's educated and can help them around finances. But the thing is, is that I didn't really know how to, you know, charge them, <laughs> right? I didn't know how to like, you know, have a structured program, like I was saying before, to make sure that, you know, I was really getting my worth um, while I was giving out all of this great information to them. Wow. Now you said a word. You know, like, how do you get your worth through all of this? It, it makes you kind of think, well, wait a minute. Yes. You know, here I am helping people get their own worth. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, the, you know, the cobbler's children have no shoes. You know, yes. we, we help everybody else, but we forget sometimes to turn around and help no. us. So, so were you just searching online or how'd you find Marquel? So, you know, I always feel, you know, I'm, I'm super spiritual, right? And, and that's even great. The CAU is too. I feel like I was literally, this is so funny. I was like, you know, asking Lord, like, I don't know how to like, you know, say the right things to my audience. I'm not really sure who my audience is. I was like, just, I was like having this like moment with God. I was like, and I was like, I need help. Cause I need to start making like, you know, big monies. How am I, how am I ever going to make like the million dollars that people are talking about? So I had this whole thing and I was asking these questions. And so I went to an event um, with a, another like coaching person. Yeah. And it was like a three day event during this virtual time. And so it was, it, it's normally a, uh, an event that's in person, but she had just made it virtual. And while I was there, there was this guy who was talking about how to scale up business. Right. And he was one of the vendors. So the one, the guy was just like a vendor and he was like, Oh, you should scale your business from, I like, I think he, he helps people scale it to $100,000 a month or something, right? Now, clearly, I'm like, way, like, I wasn't uh, near $100,000 a month at all. And yeah. so I'm like, well, how he's going to do that? I'm going to go talk to him. So I went to go talk to him. And then he told me that his demographic are people who are already, like, you know, making fifty or 60000 a month. And I was like, that's not me either. <laughs> right? And so what he did was say, hey, I have somebody for you who can definitely help you get to your 50,000. And then maybe you can come back to me and, you know, know how to scale it up to the 100,000. And I was like, oh, okay. And so he said, Mark Well. And he literally sent a message, I think, to Mark Well, told me how to send a message to Mark Well. And so then I started searching, right? So I was like, who is Mark Well, right? You know, who is this guy? I didn't even have a, like a, a huge relationship. It just, you know, the idea of just, like he just felt like a trusting person because the person he was vending for was a trusted person, somebody who I had, you know, had taken one of their programs in the past. So I was like, okay, well they trust him. And then he sounded great. So I was like, so he gave another warm transfer basically to Mark Quayle. Yeah. And I started looking at my Mark Quayle's things, which, you know, they have like thousands of testimonials of great people who look like me just so happen <laughs> that are doing like, you know, great things and making the money that I would wish to make in life. And so that really made me excited. And so I, I looked at something and signed up. <laughs> like, I mean, that's like, so I did all in this one day. <laughs> it happened all like in this one day. Like he told me about him. I did all my research. I was up all, all day, like at night, like, okay, let's see this testimony, this testimony. And I enrolled. And I think it might've been the next day. Maybe you called me. I think it was you who called me the next day. And then, you know, you were all pleasant and bubbly. And I was like, you were like, yeah, girl, you can do this. I was like, oh, she just seems so regular. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. You know, so you gave me like, you know, I guess the pre-call. And then I got on with Mark on, on, a, on a call. And, and it was so funny because, of course, he's asking me a lot of different questions. But I'm all like, just tell me how much it is. That's how my spirit was. I'm like, I was like, I'm going to do it. Because I had already sold myself, honestly, yeah. you know, yeah. through, like, looking at the testimonials. I was like, yeah. I want this program. You yeah. know, it's just about how much is it? Is it going to feel good to me? I just got the EIDL loan. So yeah. I was like, I have this money and this money must be invested into my business. How am I going to go about doing that? And so, you know, Mark did his spiel and I was just like, okay, hurry up. And then he told me, and I was like, I'm ready. You know what I mean? So I was like, <laughs> number one, like, you know, I'm ready for this. So that's how I got in. <laughs> well, I tell everybody that, you know, we do kind of get you through and, and ask you a whole bunch of questions because we know what we do works. Yes. And 
we want to make sure that we have the right people who really want to serve. Yes, definitely. And if you're not trying to serve, then we don't want you fooling with us. Like, we will tell you to go somewhere else. We'll like, you know, go do that somewhere else. This is not a make money online scheme. Like, that's, that's like yes. so 1980. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Now we just leverage the internet to help you create freedom. Mm-hmm. Yes. Help you create freedom in your business, income freedom, freedom of your time so that you don't have all of these things, but it's structured. Yes. And then freedom to, I always say, do whatever the hell you want when you, when you want. Yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. That's what freedom is to me. That it's, it's not that, oh, it's the money. Yeah, the money's good, you know. And even, you know, it's not that you weren't already super accomplished. Right, right. That's, yeah. what, that's what people don't realize. It's like you are already yes. making a large sum of money. You know, it's not yes. how much, but. Yeah. You are you are a clinical psychologist. You are Doctor Roche. You know yeah. what I mean. So you already are well accomplished. So you know what's what's your why? Why did you really want to start helping people financially? You know, so it, that's so interesting. So when I, you know, of course your why changes over time and different things and can get more deeper. But when it comes down to the core of like just the beginning aspects, you know, I, I grew up in an um, area, Bay Area, you know, called Oakland. Um, people know Oakland. They just have the verses too short at E40. So, you know, we're too short from. <laughs> um, and so, but, you know, initially, you know, I grew up in a, um, a household and a community where people were addicted to substances. You know, people were, you know, for the most part, like, you know, on, you know, welfare and different things like that. And so since I was young, I've been helping people with their finances and their mind. And I didn't even understand it It was like a job initially, like a a career to go into. It's just something that I always was doing. So people would give me their money and subtract it and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, and this can happen and this can happen. And so I was always very excited about it. And I only knew the basics, right? I knew like, you know, save some, right? You know, don't get yourself into debt. This is, I'm talking about basics, like since I was 10, like I I knew those things and I knew I'm going to buy me a house. So I, you know, purchased myself a house. But then I also realized that most people don't think this way. (laughs) And most people struggle when it comes down to reaching their financial goals. And like in that, you know, that got deep and deeper, especially as I started to do the work, like started to do therapy. Um, I used to work with like foster youth at the time. And, you know, and I, one of my pet peeves is people going into the grocery stores, not knowing how much to spend and then having to take things back. I don't know. People be like, like, no, um, they take that back. Mm, take that back. And that used to be a thing that used to happen when I was younger. And um, when I used to be, you know, with my family and I was like, no, I hate that. Like, I feel like I don't have enough money. I was like, but it's all about, you know, managing, right? And so I think that kind of, you know, became my why. And so I started to teach that to even like my foster youth and the high school students that I used to work with. And then I went into transitional age youth, teaching them about independent living skills. And so the more that I kept on doing that, I'm like, people need this. (laughs) Like, you know, this is another level when it comes down to your your mind, but it's also this money thing. And like wealth is is freedom. You know, that's part of freedom. You know, when you're, you ha- you can put your hands on money, you know, at any given time. And so yeah. that really kind of became my passion. And once I got it aligned with like, oh, I could do some type of financial coaching, I was doing it. But knowing that it could be a business is where it's like, oh, well, I can help a lot more people, um, particularly when I noticed that people like me who had doctor degrees, right? People with me who had careers where people were making good money, we're making like six figures, like naturally we did all the work, we went to school, we did the stuff we supposed to do, we're making the six figures, but now we're like, what are we supposed to do with it? You yeah, know, yeah. we still manage it the same exact way, yes. you know, as we managed it when we had no money. Yes. You know? And so we still feel like we get addicted to this struggling yes. life, right? Where you just be like, well, I'm gonna be broke too. Like it's like you, you, you just go, you make more money, you spend more money. Yeah. So I was like, I want to help those people who are very similar to me, make good money, but they have no idea. Nobody ever like interrupted. I went to this, I went to school for a long time to get my doctor degree, but nobody ever sat there and said, hey, this is how you're supposed to manage all your money. This is what you're, how you're supposed to invest in stocks. Nobody taught me that. You know, and so I'm like, I'm going to be the person, you know, who's going to interrupt that pattern of, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, even though you have enough money, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, and yes. then teaching the educational tools, but also moving to that next level of, of having what you really, really want, 
right? There's no reason why we're still not, like, you know, looking for a house and stuff like that and made enough money, like, you know, five times over to end up purchasing that house. But we don't understand how to do it, you know? Yeah. And it's just easier. You know, they, they like to, to their comfort. And if your comfort is struggle, then you feel comfortable in the struggle. Yes. Yeah. I was like, there's so much safety in the familiar, right? There's safety there, even if it's wrong. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's wrong. So safe because it's what we know. And so that's, you know, yeah. So I'm really all about like, let me help you and, you know, break some of that level of safety, right? You're at a new level. So let's have a new level of thinking. You yeah, know? yeah. Wow. So what did you feel about, um, or how did you feel about at the, uh, at the event when we do the money side of it, you know? I mean, that was so powerful, right? Because of course I have money blocks too, yeah. especially as you're, to me, when you're in CAU, right? Because a, a big thing is that they're helping us to know that we're more worthy and more deserving of a high ticket, you yeah. know, um, value cost to our programs, right? And so that was huge because even for me, even though I, I made even more better money than the average, right? Like, you know, right. I still, you know, had, you know, even in my private practice, people pay me like 200, 250 an hour. So right. even that was like, that's good, good money. Right. But that should be like, enough. Yeah. That, and I was like, and I was like, that's so much more than anybody in my whole world. Right. Yes. Yes. Like nobody else makes that kind of money. Yes. And I mean, I'm, I'm making a hundred times more than most people that I know. So to think about like m making my mind think even more than that, thinking like, oh, I can make thousands per hour. Yes. You know, that was something that I had to work on. So when we did that money exercise really helped me. And even that's another thing. One of the main things I think came up was the idea like you have to work harder to make more money was a huge thing that was in my head. Cause I was like, dang, but if I have, you know, if I'm making thousands like that, I'm probably gonna have to work even more. Like I, that's how I thought yeah. about it. Not realizing like, oh no, when you structure it, you can work a lot less and make more. And I was like, I want that, <laughs> you know, in my life. <laughs> right, well, I mean, well, once I think when everybody sees it, then they go, oh yeah, well wait, well, why would I ever, you know, why would I ever do it that way? And I go, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know no better. <laughs> right? That's exactly, that's exactly better. Yeah. You know, that's why you know, all of the work that you are doing is, is so, so important. So, so yeah. let's talk about um, the steps you took in the program. Like, like, you know, what, where did you start? And then what was like, how quickly did you make your first and, and how did all that work? Okay, so I, I'm definitely a student, right? And so just the idea that it's CAU, right, university, and everything was really set there to say, do this, then this, then this, then this. And so the steps were really helpful. And I mean, I was super excited. I've been in other coaching programs before. I have spent a lot of money in coaching programs, like in all honesty. Not, again, the, I've been on this, you know, for about five years, you know, trying to figure things out. And so this was the most excited that I had ever been and right away didn't have buyer's remorse. Um, I have like gotten coaching programs and been like, oh, why did I spend this money? Like, you know, like right away. Yeah. Um, and this one was the first time that, I mean, all the information was right there for me, you know, so that was huge. Um, so I felt in, in, in even just me going ahead, even though I wasn't supposed to, I just wanted to see what, what the topics were. You know, so I went ahead. And I was like, oh, my, even these these topics are just really going to bring me from A to Z for real. <laughs> so I think that just made me so happy, even just um, at the time having the um, fast start call with, um, you know, right away. I think, you know, I think I did some stuff for week one, but right away I had that call with um, Coach Dre. Yeah. And so like, and, and he talking and, and he just like, you know, I just felt like he pumped my head up. I'm like, Oh, I can make a lot of money here, right? Like I just had this, you know, so my spirit just felt real good with yeah. him. That was week one. And then, you know, Marquel like sent little like personal message. I was like, I'm winning in this program and I hadn't made a dollar. Like I was just so like, I was in the winning spirit just because of the people who I were already, like I was just connecting with at that time. And, you know, and I just started going through everything. So I think um, Sierra, as well as Coach Dre, they t both talked about, you know, keep up the pace, right? Like during the time and, you know, knock things out. And, and he kind of gave me like a quick timeline of how to get things done. And 
all of that. Tiara, you know, she was she was saying a lot about that too. Like, you know, you know, you don't want other people having success that you don't have done. So you know, keep up with it. Yeah. Um, and so all of that made me really excited. So I was I was on it in the beginning, um, doing all that. But at the same time, I think I joined. Um, I can't remember when I joined <laughs> actually. But maybe like June or July or something like that, um, when I first joined and my life was full, right? I was full. Even though I was knocking out these things, I was full. I had, like I said, everybody was asking about life insurance, you know, right? We're in COVID, the COVID time, mental health. You know, if you had never thought about doing mental health before, what COVID, by the time we hit like June or July, and people start realizing like, oh, this ain't three weeks. Like at first, the first three weeks, you know, everybody was like just chilling and they were like, oh, I'm okay. Look at this break I have for my life. Everybody was so happy about it. Once we hit, like we were, and they, they extended shelter in place. That's when everybody was like, wait a minute, you know, and the, the need for mental health increased significantly. Therefore, the need of what I was doing increased significantly. And I just had so many things and had my hands in so many different pots um, at that point. And so even though I was doing the program, I felt this feeling of I can't accept more people in my life, if that makes sense. Yes, um, absolutely. And so I so initially, you know, I was doing the program, I was getting on the coaching calls, but nothing was really converting. And I wasn't really blaming the program per se. It was just me. Cause I was like, I know I'm just not even in my attraction. Like I was like, I almost don't even want these people because I'm too full. I got too many other things happening right now. And it was so crazy. Cause my mind is like, but you're spending money. You got to do this. But I really just didn't have enough energy inside of me to do it. Yeah. And so that's what I noticed. I feel like the big turning point is that once my 12 weeks was over just coincidentally my 12 weeks was over right when we were going to the boot camp okay. and so i go to the boot camp and the spirit of the boot camp ah man like that <laughs> and I, I i needed people especially by that point like yes. i really needed people around me and so the energy i mean the the caliber of people, shall I say, even that, the caliber of people getting to see who's in CAU, right? Yeah. You looking at like successful entrepreneurs, successful people who all like are degreed up, you know what I mean? I mean, like so many doctors in a room. I've yeah. never seen that many black doctors in, in the room. I'm like, you know, I'm so used to being the only black the doctor. Only one. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, oh my God, there's like a black doctor at every table. You know what I mean? Like everybody was so successful in their own right. And I think that was great. The the family feel and the casualness um, of, of just, you know, Coach Dre and um, uh, Marquell, like they were, it, all of that together just felt, the energy felt fire, you yeah. know, and being able to get the hot seat. And I mean, I really, I'm so like happy that the Lord gave me the hot seat, right? Because everybody didn't get it, <laughs> just you know. And so the fact that I got that hot seat, that hot seat literally transformed my business, literally. Like that was what transformed it because I wasn't, you know, getting the right people on the calls, and just by like simply asking me questions, you know, Marquell like just changed the whole dynamic of what I was doing. Yeah, you know, and um, so and then I started targeting the right people, the exact right people, right? I had the right type of better messaging. Everybody in the audience started giving me like, you know, what were things that you, um, you know, interests of my target people? People just started, you know, yelling out. Think about this. Think about this. You know, people were recording and taking pictures for me because they're like, oh, you probably want your picture. You are, here goes a recording of the information just in case you forget something. Um, you know, Coach Dre helping my mindset around it. Like, I mean, to me. The boot camp was fire. <laughs> so it was like that was where things like shifted. I put those, I, you know, I joined the inner circle right after that. Yeah. Another investment, right? You were extra like, you know, coaching me into the process. But, you know, very much so. Thank you for it. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I went through that. And I think the inner circle helped me go to the really the next step to still have the the connections of what I needed and to understand a little bit better how to do this, this program. And yeah. so that right there is what to me led me to getting my first two clients. Yeah. She so got two clients at $4,000, <laughs> which is just bananas to me. You know what I mean? Like where I was doing pretty much what I'm doing with them now. Like I was used to do this for free. 
for free and now you're getting thousand dollars yeah that's this is so much better right uh, so much better <laughs> and that's just the idea i mean even just going further with the inner circle calls i'm excited because i know that um e before christmas right i'm like i'm speaking this and manifesting this um, for myself but i can see it already that i should have another two maybe three clients even before Christmas and we're in the week of Christmas. So yeah. just the idea that, you know, that's converting two or three people per week. Yeah. Right? You know, my initial goal in, in this program was like five people a month. Yeah. So now as I look at my 2021 goals, yeah. I can see where that five will easily like double to, you know what I mean? Being like, Oh no, I like I, 10 people a month. I pay me 5,000, right. you know, which dollars is, which a month. Your, which is your million dollar business, right? It, exactly i'm like oh this is really i'm actually going to make these millions right you know so yeah, yeah you when know. you when you start talking about those type of numbers and when you know what you're delivering you yes. know that you're serving you're serving at the highest level that's exactly yes. what happens right yes it's, exactly. it's so fun to see that like and even in your face like yes it's like that aha because even you know because we've i've been with you this whole journey you're right yes <laughs> It's like so awesome to like hear and to see and to see like when I saw you post in the group, I was like, oh my goodness, here we go. Because yeah. that first one, it's, you know, talk about substance abuse. It's like yeah. crack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want another one and another one and you want to go back after it. It's yes. like the best piece of cake you've ever had in your life. It's I mean, even just cake. the idea of the people, right? Like when you're 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 targeting the right people, like I love like my clients. I know it's only two people, but it's like, gosh, like they're like my favorite people, making yes. it easier to work with them and yes. to make this money because yes. it just feels like I love y'all. I want I want I really want the best for like you know for yes. you. Yes, well that's how we feel about you too. Just so right. you, yeah. you know, so, like we don't that's why we don't wanna we, you know, getting to choose your clients is truly a luxury yes and so yes. many business owners don't realize that like they yes. they oh no you, they think that you have to take who comes to you and it's yes. like but you can craft the message so that right. you can attract just those people that you really want to work with yes exactly if they don't the thing you say oh i don't think this will work for you right and we release them in love and grace yes yes so that's that's yeah. huge Another a big thing, um, just thinking about just the numbers, right? So the idea that, you know, business is more of a numerical game, right? Um, and I love the idea when they say, like, bring the data, not the drama. Yeah. Because it's so real, right? Because you're so in your feelings all the time. Like, oh. I just feel I'm not talking to the right people. I feel like this is happening. I, feel, yeah. I feel like nobody really wants my program. I feel and now I realize, like, oh, no, like, here, there, we can look at the numbers and we can see what the actual problem is. Is this problem you, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Is yeah. it your messaging? Is it, you know, and I feel like that, that's why like it was so aligned with what I actually needed, you know? So it makes it easier to even understand how to scale your business. How do you make a million dollars? It's so easy right. once you know that the numbers are, you it's, know? It's, it's, it's an equation, you know? I happen, I happen to have written the million dollar equation book, so <laughs> you know, that's how I kind of know it, but, but it truly is just an equation, right? Yeah. It's an equation in where people get all messed up is in the feelings. Yes, yes. They get all yes. in their feelings. And when you get in your feelings, you can't make logical decisions. Right, exactly. So it's always, you know, one of our core tenements here at CAU is in data we trust. Yes, yes. So we look at data every single day and say, okay, is this a problem or is this just something that we don't like? Right, right? exactly. It's like, well, no, this is, this is a problem or look, you just don't like that. Get over it and yes. let's move on. You know, you've done five calls. What do you mean? You need to change your message. No, you I don't. Know. How yeah. about you do 20 calls and then let, let's see. You know, you're not even good at your calls yet. They're feeling that funky energy that yes. you have coming through the phone, right? You, you yeah. don't believe in your you. I mean, I'm just thinking about that's another like just level of CAU, the idea that somebody will listen to your calls <laughs> like, because you're not left alone to just assume. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, like you have somebody. So even when coach, like, you know, Dre, like actually will say, you know, to me, like, Hey, Roche, yo, your energy was popping in the beginning. Yeah. And it fell down when, you know, cause you didn't feel confident in your price and all that. And, and so I was like, Oh, 
that's good. Like, you know, when he's telling me go deeper, you know, so he's giving me like true coaching and direction on how to make it work, you yeah. know, so I can definitely see how when I implemented what I learned that it shifted, you know, how I was doing things and, yeah. and it ultimately led me, you know, to my clients. And now I see how I can continue to, well, I will continue to, you know, bring and attract more clients to me. Yeah. Well, well it makes it easy. Yes. Yes. Right when you enter, because the system is yes. easy. Exactly. It's about you know what what you put in it, what you're gonna do if you're gonna allow it to be easy. Yes. Right? Allow it to 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 really you know allow yourself to serve the clients yes. and not let your personal money issues get in the way. Right. Exactly. Yes. Right. Yes. That's, what, that's all. Um, it's about. Well, goodness, goodness gracious. Yes. All right. I think you answered you answered that one. How about what, uh, what's your favorite thing about CA? That's a, that's a, like my favorite question to ask. Oh, what's the favorite thing? I mean, I guess I, mean, I really, it's, it's the family like quality. I feel like it's the spiritual family like quality um, of CAU. And I guess even, you know, in the time that I've been here, it's always like ever changing to serve us as their clients. I've noticed that in just a very short period of time, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, like, you know, I mean, it, it's maybe it's been about almost six months or so, a little bit less, but I noticed, I'm like, wow, like, you know, when this wasn't happening, they changed this or they, oh, the clients need a little bit more of this here. Like, let's bring some more coaches in, you know, let's have this. And so I think that has been one of my favorites. You know, I love Facebook group because I just like the idea. I feel like we all like really want each other to win. So it definitely takes out that that aspect of what we know of like the crabs in a barrel. Like we don't even have that here. Like oh. it's so like it's like like somebody gets a client and you like, cool, you know what I'm saying? God blessing you, get me God in the neighborhood, right? right. You know you're like, cool, like that means I like can't wait for mine. Right. You know, I'm on my way. way. Right. Yeah, right. It feels that way. And right. I think that's like even more so like exciting is that everybody like, you know, loves and wants everybody else to win. Yes. as much as possible yes well that's a, that that is truly like our goal you know um the reason why they featured us in black enterprise was because you know was that our clients have generated over a hundred million dollars i know like that's that's fun you know and that's that's truly our goal is to yes. get to a million clients serving and owning million dollar businesses that that changes the game right? yes that's oh yeah make that make the true impact well my goodness this has been absolutely a joy <laughs> and always fun and i am so damn proud of you i just can't even thank I, you like oozes out of my out of my spirit all day long to like to see you and to see you go i don't know and even even at the boot camp to see you kind of i'm not sure but right. to come back home and just kill it crush it like i'm boy I'm, man like I'm so juiced about 2021 because I have this level of, you know, pro like, you know, program, you know, I think the issue for my in previous pro um, coaching programs for me is like, they were like, Oh, you should have this. You have, you should have this, but nobody teach taught you how to get the clients. No, they taught you how to get the no. clients because they don't know how. And Oh, I'm not supposed to say that out loud. Yeah. But I mean, that's, the, that's, that's even another, maybe it's another big win is like, you need to teach me how to get the clients. Yeah. And I mean, and we literally structure from A to Z, like how, once you get them, what you do when you get them, you know right. what I'm saying? From like all those pieces, right. those right. things were like missing. I felt like I was getting pieces, but not like the whole, like, you know, step-by-step -step program. No, no. They tell you that you need a better website. They tell you that you need better pictures. Like you need to be, you know, yeah. ooh, that picture ain't going to work. You know, I, I had a person now at this point, I was probably doing yeah, probably six million a year. Wow. Yeah. Me that she was tired of seeing me in the same white jacket in my pictures online. Oh, mm. and I said, well, first of all, it's not the same. I've got yeah. 11 of them. And second <laughs> of all, you know, Oprah said that people light you and the people of color, they don't light you. You, right? they light everybody else. So it's yeah. better to wear a white jacket. And so that's why I wear a white jacket. But, Not but yet. here, you know, so now my deal is I only get advice from people that are doing better than me. <laughs> Whose lives I'd rather switch, right? And so that's the rule now. And it's like, 
man, what are you talking about? But but in their brain, all of their insecurities. Yes. Yes. Of what you need to do in your business. Well, your website isn't right. Your whatever, you know, some of y'all's website isn't even up yet. And you're right. still generating because that's not what it's all about. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Tweak it after that. Like, you know, we have at CAU 15 different ones that yeah. don't even get any traffic, you know, because we run traffic to specific landing pages. So yeah. We are, um, we are really, really excited, as I said. And if thank you so much. Uh, for me. me here. I am so <laughs> excited. I can't wait. I'm gonna have you back here in the yeah. next quarter so that we can giggle about those five a month that you was talking about. Dude, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, you have a great, great day. Hey, we'll see you soon. Right. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Have a phenomenal day because you absolutely deserve it. Talk to you soon. What's the difference between you and mega successful coaches and consultants with a dream business? Simple, they're getting more leads than you are. What if there was a way to get 50 to 100 leads every single day like clockwork? Would you want it? Then go to www.getdailyclients.com to access our paid ad playbook that has brought in millions of leads for our clients over the years on complete autopilot. This is the podcastfactory.com.